Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Alliance Tech. Today we will be rebuilding a 16 cylinder compressor. It is a filter compressor that actually took a liquid slug and it lost the whole top end, bottom end, and it's already been taken apart and uh, ready for rebuild. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just inspect the crankshaft again, un undress the compressor because we redressed it to seal it up. So we're gonna undress it again, all the heads and cylinders off of it and get it all prepped ready to go for the new uh, cylinder, uh, cylinder liners, uh, pistons, uh, rods, everything. It's getting all brand new parts today. Um, so this is going to be a two day build. So today we're just going to focus on the bottom end and pistons and tomorrow we'll do the top end and we'll seal the compressor up and pressure check it and start it up tomorrow. But as far as uh, as of right now, we're just going to get in there, set our tools up, get everything ready to go and um, get the start getting the pistons and cylinders ready to go. So I'll see you inside. Hey guys, today is day two of our compressor rebuild. So today we're gonna to finish the other eight cylinders of the 16 cylinder compressor rebuild and um, get it hopefully online today. But um, depending on how today goes, we might need to take it into another day. But um, stay tuned and I'll see you inside.
right guys, this is day three of the compressor rebuild. Today we're gonna add oil to it and start it up. So I'll see you inside. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Lions Tech. So today we finished that 16 cylinder compressor rebuild and it went pretty well. Um, uh, these filter machines, they're wonderful machines. Uh, they, uh, they have to be built in a certain way, but um, when you get done with it and, and get through all the, all the bolts, nuts and bolts on the machine, it, it, it's uh, quite a feat to overcome. So. Um, so I added 14 gallons of oil to the compressor. Um, I cycled the compressor on momentarily for about a couple seconds each time just to uh, fill the crank and oil filter. We already filled the oil filter up with oil um, when we changed the oil filter out just to make sure they had enough oil in it. And um, just to make sure you have all the unloading tubes and stuff fill all the oil so when you fire it up, nothing's running really dry. Um, so we checked the belt tension, we checked uh, everything before we fired it up uh, we checked and when we fired it up we checked discharge pressure uh suction pressure immediately let it run for about 30 minutes and then we came back and we checked uh, pressures and temperatures again fully unloaded unloaded uh checked all four stages on the loading as a 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent loading um and um everything corresponded to the compressor amps so we are running pretty good here. Uh, the oil side glasses are around half. Oil differentials are around 48 PSI. Um, discharge pressures are around 156 PSI. Um, uh, 176 depending on uh, where, where the PLC wants to run at that day. And then uh, a suction pressure really maintains uh, around 40, 43 PSI, 43 to 45. So. Um, Overall, the system runs really well. Uh, this compressor is running really well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it in the lag position for now. And next week, uh, when I come back in and check it, I will put it into um, the lead position uh, and run it. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.